Hey YouTube, it's Jackie. Another month has gone by, so you know I'm gonna do another journal flip through. So let's take a look at May in my journal. So this book is done. I only managed to squeeze two months into it before it got so chunky that I am not comfortable putting any more in here. I removed like, I don't know, 30 pages, 40 pages. I removed a lot um, and it just got too full. So um, I just used a Sharpie pen to write and May 2017. It just said April before and um, what I'll do is I'll just flip through the pages I've already done for April. You guys have seen those already. I'll flip through those quickly and then I'll talk you through May like I always do. So a lot of, you see a lot of jelly prints in this book and a lot of watercolors. I find those are the two main things I'm using. A lot of writing, a little bit of everything really. And um, I have to say of all the books I've done, this has been my favorite. I love the balance of art and paper crafting things and photos and memories and writing. I really love this book. It's a Fabriano ecological sketchbook. There's a link to it below if you're looking for it. And um, I am still looking for the unicorn of papers, the paper that is thin enough that I can put a lot of pages in a book, but it's thick enough and I can use wet medium on it and all my markers, markers blend on it nicely. That paper I have not found yet. This is the closest I've found. It's pretty good for watercolor as long as I don't use too much water, um, but my watercolor markers don't blend on it well. That's the only downside I found with it, but it's really thin, so I fit a lot of pages in here. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep using sketchbook paper. It's the best thing I've found for the way I journal. And I think this is the end of where we reached on the last video. So let's start into the new pages. Um, so the first thing I did in May is I started my Facebook group. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a link below if you want to check it out. Um, we've been having a lot of fun in there um, sharing pictures of our journals and it welcomes all types of creative journalers. So I just wanted to remember the day it started because it's growing and I, I don't want to keep track of its history as it grows. Um, so I just put the logo that I designed for it and I just backed it with some glitter tape. I hand lettered this part of my title, I stamped this part, and I used my So Easy Roller stamp, Star Stamper to do all these little stars. I stamped um, these stars, and then I just used watercolors. I used the Jane Davenport Brights set. Um, I used the same color that I painted the letters with. I used to do a wash over all my journaling. I like doing these washes over my journaling. I've been doing that a little more often. And, um, and I just colored these with uh, watercolor as well. The next page is kind of a silly page. It's called, We Close the Gap. And it's a, a goal my husband and I had set back in November. It was a goal we set as a couple that when we started trying to live more healthy, I was gonna lose enough weight and he was gonna get strong enough that he'd be able to bench press me. And on May the 4th, we did it. I weighed 161 pounds and he bench pressed 165. So um, I just wrote that story and um, I just um, used, um, I can't remember how I did the title. I think it's with um, Tombow brush markers. And then I outlined them with, they were too pale, so I outlined them with um, Stadler fine liners. Um, and then I just drew the, this barbell, or barbell or dumbbell, I don't know, um, using my Zig Clean Color Real brush markers. And that gives it that kind of brushy look to it. And it was really simple. I did my writing and then it still looked a little too plain. So I added um, purple watercolor everywhere I could. I used some washi tape runners. This one says workout, workout. I think it's a Mammy branded one. And I think that page is pretty cool. I did another escape room. Um, if you saw, I did a process video of this. Um, so check out my channel if you wanna see how I made these pages. Um, it was called Secret of Station House 4. And so I just put the flyer that they gave us I put the, um, a photo of our, of our They Take After You Win, and um, the background is just distressing, stenciling. I drew this key, and I just used some little ephemera pieces, did some journaling, and uh, a little bit of stamping here and here. Look at those pages. Um, the next one is called Escape from the Red Room, which was another escape I did the same night, actually. We did two in a row. So I just couldn't resist painting the whole page red. So, because the whole room was red, everything about the this escape room was red. Um, so I painted the page red, um, and then I cut these words and these words out of the flyer that they gave us, and I stenciled these. I got some alphabet stencils from the dollar store, and I just love the effect they look, and I just used gesso to stencil. 
Um, this is the photo we lost and I stamped, we did, I did my best and I stamped like these honeycomb things all over. And then my writing, I just, or my journaling, I just printed off on the computer and um, printed it onto some sticker paper, cut it into strips and stuck it down. So um, yeah, it all kind of came together. I like that page a lot. Um, I call the next one, It's a Happy Day. Um, we went to a tent, my sister and I went to a tent sale that was art supplies. So I just used the picture from the Instagram. We went to, it's called Above Ground Art Supplies is the name of the store. And I just pulled this off their Instagram. It's a picture of a tent full of like pens and scissors. <laughs> and it poured rain. And so I used this raindrop vellum as a background. I just kind of fussy cut around the raindrops and covered half the page with that. And this was cut out of a journaling card and this was another journaling card. They're both from Snap Simple Stories. I wrote down the deals that we got and just did a little bit of journaling. I love the colors on that one. Um, the next one is called Third Annual Nana's Day in Toronto. My grandmother came to visit and um, I tried to capture, I used distress inks to do the background and I used the colors to kind of capture that we were there first thing in the morning and we went to the Sunset Grill. This is from their flyer for brunch. And then I used green because it was just a lovely green day out and we walked around the city. And then I used blue for when we went to the aquarium. So the colors kind of are supposed to represent what we did. So I just used some washi tape on each corner to kind of coordinate. Picture of my grandmother on the scale that tells you how much money you would cost if you were a tuna. <laughs> she was the cheapest tuna that was there that day. Um, my sister and I both cost a little more if we were tunas. And then I picture the three of us together in front of one of the tanks. I uh, just had this um, word that says family uh, from a close to my heart sticker sheet. So I thought that was a good spot for it. And I used my Ecoline brush pens to do the title. Uh, the next one is called sharing. So if you've been following my fitness planner journals, you know I've been steadily losing weight. Um, so I ended up, a lot of my loved ones don't live in the same province I do, so they don't know that I've been losing weight. So I thought it was time to share it. So I posted it on Facebook, my before and after picture. I don't know if you can see it, but. I um, posted that one up and it was one of my most liked photos ever and everyone was really proud of me so I um, just kind of wrote down in here on this it's a I forget where this journaling card came from I think it's from Chamel's Little by Little uh, it says they said what and I put down the kind comments that people gave me just use a strip of pattern paper and these I think they're Dear Lizzie thickers it's like the most dimensional thing I've ever used they're slightly puffy <laughs> and just some some more uh, the Chanel little by little embellishments and some journaling the next one's called I love Sunday and it's just talking about how we spent a lovely Sunday we went to see Guardians of the Galaxy so I taped that in and it comes from the magazine that you get at the movies and so did this and I just put down some starry washi tape behind it. And then um, for my journaling, I just drew this journaling block and I painted it green like Gamora's skin. I love her skin. <laughs> and so uh, I just brush lettered my title. These are just some stickers that were in my stash and just did some journaling. I, a lot of times my pages are really simple but I just find that if you pack enough color into them, they look busy enough. So I guess it was just an escape room kind of month because we did another one called Defenders of the Triforce and this was like a big event. You can see we're in like a conference room with a bunch of people and um, so this is just a picture of us at the event. Uh, this is our team and um, this is a picture of us after we won so I just put winners with some alphas on some washi tape and um, I um, used green and gold because they're such Zelda-y colors. So I, I watercolored the whole thing in green and then I did some green stenciling of um, wood, wood grain on top of that. Um, for my Triforce, I used a triangle stamp and I used gold embossing powder. So it's a shiny gold Triforce for Zelda and I used a gold paint pen to do, so there's no light in here, that's why it's not shining. Uh, I used a gold paint pen to do the border and I used gold arrows because um, Link loves his arrows and I just um, hand lettered my title. There was a just a really wonderful piece of ephemera that we got at the um, event, and so that's what's behind this tape, but it's such a huge spoiler. Um, I, I can't in good conscience show it on the internet because other people still have yet to do this puzzle, but it was just, just a really lovely piece. We got to take it home and um, I stuck it in my book. Um, the next one's just a food prep day, talking about how some days, mostly like almost every Monday, I spend the whole day in the kitchen 
prepping lunches for John and I put a picture of those and I prep fruit salad for me. I do two liters at a time and it's just hours of chopping. Um, so for this page, I have this vegetable pattern paper that's been in my stash for a lifetime. And I just thought I'm gonna use as much of it as I can. So I backed one of the photos with it. I cut my, I like drew out letters and cut them out for my title. And I cut out little vegetables as ephemera. And I didn't even use half the sheets, so it's still in my stash. But um, and then I just did some stamping up here, some black ink behind the letters to make them pop. And I just used my Staedtler fine liners to do uh, my writing. And I used a Monday stamp over and over and over because this is my Monday routine. I think it's important in your journal to capture your routines as much as it is to capture the special moments because they're they're what make up your life um so this one is oh my god candy i showed you guys a process video with this one already where my husband came home with 15 pounds of candy so i took a picture of it in the basket and out of the basket made a list on my typewriter of everything that was in it and just used watercolor and washi tape you can check out my other video if you want to know more about that one Wow, I'm running out of time in a hurry. Um, we did a Harry Potter trivia night, and um, my husband and I were just watching a movie one night, so I had a lot of time to just do some drawing. So I just drew a frame, and then I drew a broom. I just looked up online what Harry Potter's broom looked like. I tried to draw a Hedwig on a branch, and I um, lettered the title, and then just did my journaling. And I just tried using soft tones. Normally, I like to use really bright, bold tones. But I just did like soft watercolor on this page and I, I think it's, um, it's a really different look for me and I like that. I like to just keep doing different things. You guys know what I'm like. Uh, the next one's called Heat Wave and it's a little color crazy. It was We had this super hot day so I just decided to do it literal and I used a wide paint brush and my watercolors and I just did orange and yellow and orange and yellow. And then I added some lilacs, uh, colored, a picture of lilacs on a piece backed with a piece of lilac colored paper. And these are colors I'm not used to putting together, but I think it worked here. So I'm happy with that. I stamped the date and the temperature. Of course, this is in Celsius uh, on, a, on a little um, Chanel little by little journaling card. And this ephemera came from the same pack. I used my, um, I think my Eagle Line brush markers for that title. I think my lettering turned out nice on that page. The next one is called Victoria Day Bonfire. I showed this briefly in my video that was a review of the uh, We Are Memory Keepers mini alphabet punch board. So this is where I used it. I punched out these letters with it and I just backed it with some Payne's Gray watercolor. Um, stuck the letters on top. I edged them with some black ink to make them look a little bit like they have soot on them because it was fire. Um, my photos I just backed with some Chanel little by little um, pattern paper and a photo of us toasting marshmallows, the potluck dinner, the singing, and I just um, stamped titles or like captions on um, little scraps that I had. Like sometimes you have little, little strips, so I, that's what I stamp. That's how I use them. Is I just stamped some captions on them and I um, painted them with watercolor so that the or a marker so that they show up, and just a few little feather embellishments. I um, set a new record for my fastest one mile ever run. I'm a slow runner, so you may not be impressed to hear that's nine minutes and 41 seconds, but I was pretty excited because I've been running for a long time, so I don't set records very often anymore. So I just backed this page with a jelly print that had stars all over it because I felt like a star. I used some gold uh, pink paisley alphas and uh, put personal best and some writing, and that was like a five second page. Took no time at all. Um, the next page is called Laying Low, and it's just talking about how my husband had an injury to his Achilles tendon and how, as a result, we've been spending a lot of time sitting at home where normally we like to go out. Um, and so I just used some washi tape, and I had a lot of fun trying to put washi tapes together that went together. I found it really challenging, but it was fun. I stenciled my title and then just some stickers. I love these little doodle bug mugs we've been drinking. I put happy together hot drinks because we drink a lot of tea when we sit at home, a, little co a lot of coffee. And uh, the last page is Cheat Day at St. Clair. I met my husband uh, in a different neighborhood and um, he and I went and we got burgers, we had drinks, and we just had like a lovely afternoon. And then we came home, we threw the Frisbee around. Um, it was just a nice day and I wanted to remember it. So I used three different stamp sets to stamp my title. And then I just used ink tense pencils. I used a red one to um, color the letters, make journaling lines, outline my photos. And then I used, um, this beigey one to just color and everything else. And then I just had these vintage stickers in my stash and I thought this was a good time to use them. This is just kind of a joke to myself. I used the soulmate sticker as a picture of my husband with his hamburger. <laughs> um, and then I just put a jelly print on the inside back cover and that's it, book's done.
Thanks so much for watching.